And I want to, uh, I want to give everyone a sense of like the science. And so give us a, a window into how it makes you feel, why it works and, and just yeah. some of the science of what's behind this. So if anyone goes and buys it, they can at least, you know, it's not like, Hey, we just like these guys, but it's like, Hey, we like these guys. <laughs> and, and there's something, there's some tangible benefits yeah. here. Yeah. A big part of it for us is that scientific background. So aside from the medical school being a nice feather in our cap, my background's in biology. Yasser is a cognitive neuroscientist and we worked with a team of nutritionists, dietitians, medical doctors, Eastern, Eastern medicine practitioners, the whole gamut when coming up with these formulations. And so it's not just us trying to figure out what the heck is going on. We're pulling on all these different strings of experts to put something together that bridges that gap between Western, Western medicine and Eastern philosophy. So we've got two different kind of like categories of products because we're a hemp company as a foundation. And so um, the stuff that goes into Whole Foods has something called hemp seed oil in the product. And all of our hemp comes from farms that use regenerative farming. So already because the soil is healthier, the food that comes out of it is more nutritional. It has higher different active compounds, whether that's the vitamins and minerals, the chlorophyll, the omegas in it. So the hemp seed oil that we sell in Whole Foods, we put the minimum daily amount of omega-3s. If you compare it to other hemp shots that use hemp seed oil, which there's one or two, the closest one to us has 55 times less hemp seed oil than what we have. And the way we formulated ours is that it has a minimum daily amount. So that tells you how efficacious the other shots are. I mean, we are, for us, there's only so much you can put in there uh, to make it taste good and work well. And so that was our, our threshold for that. So omega-3s also help some of the other compounds in there absorb better. For instance, fat and curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, when those two are combined with each other, they absorb better. Another fact too, you know, for instance, all the immune shots out there in the world, turmeric juice actually doesn't can't contain that much of the active compound curcumin. Most likely it's lost in the juicing process in the pulp. It's not water soluble, it's fat soluble. So we're the only shot on the market that actually adds curcumin back into it as well. So little tidbits there from the hemp juice side, which is kind of what we started on. The fun part about that is that it's full of this compound called raw CBD or CBDA. And so everyone's familiar with CBD, don't need to beat that dead horse, but uh, CBDA is something brand new for a lot of people. The same researcher in Israel that discovered CBD back in the 80s, Raphael Mekalam, he also discovered the medicinal compounds of CBDA, but it was only recently in labs that they were able to stabilize it in like a pharmaceutical format, not like a juice format, because no doctor is going to be prescribing juice to a patient uh, as much as we wish. When they isolated that compound, they found that it works a thousand times stronger for anti-nausea, anti-inflammation in the gut. That's a huge order of magnitude. I mean, it, it's, mm. it's night and day. Uh, it still works for things like stress and pain and inflammation. Uh, the gut health aspect is uh, in a, it's in a league of its own. So that's the cool part about the hemp juice. And so then you have to figure out like, how do I standardize it and stabilize it? And that's what took us about a year and a half before we even launched the product in terms of figuring it out. So there's a lot of science that goes behind it and we can dive in. We can talk on hours and hours for it. Yeah. I think that's one of the important things is that I think the consumer thinks like science is done, right? We, we have this natural tendency like, oh, we learned science. It was in, uh, we took a class and we, now we know science. But there's actually like, to your point, you mentioned the 80s discovery. There's, there's even more discoveries around cannabinoids in the 90s. And so we're talking about like very recent history where it, one, it's being discovered and then it takes time to get to the masses and like, how do we use this and how does the body ingest it and what is actually going on? And I think it's important for people listening to realize science is being created right now, right? And and a lot of these products, we're, we're sort of in like the new frontier, I would say, of wellness. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.